Hello my friends, thank you so much for joining me in today's session. So in my last video, I taught you guys about the root chakra, and now I'll be going over to the third eye. Chakra associated with light. It is located between the brows, about right here. It has 96 petals. It relates to I, I, C, and deals with insight and blocked by illusion. It is tied to the pineal gland, which produces melatonin, serotonin, and helps control our correct Indian rhythm, which is our sleep cycle and wakefulness. So when the chakra is out of alignment, there will be physical issues such as headaches, especially between right here, I had to look at myself, between the brow and the right side, migraines, insomnia, learning disabilities, nightmares, coordination problems, sinus issues, that's a big one because it's right here, blindness, any type of eye diseases, seizures, light sensitivity, and no to little dreams. And emotional issues when not in alignment is feeling stuck and neutral, can't make goals, you're having trouble reaching them, lack of clarity, it's like your mind is just clouded, rejection of anything spiritual or unusual, like you can't explain it, you just reject it, religious salad, fear of the unknown, paranoia, delusions, and hallucinations, skepticism, and judgmental of others. And there are wonderful activities to help balance it out, such as thinking of like the big picture and broad perspectives, have your own type of faith, goal setting, meditating, uh, visualizing, get better sleep patterns, see everyone as an equal, that's very important, watching the sunrise and sunsets, they're so beautiful, watch it this all the time, it's amazing. So what most of these have in common is a relating to seeing. And there are some wonderful stones, which I got here for healing later. The stones to work with are amethyst, lapidolite, lapis lazuli, sodalite, all the fluorites, camerite, sugalite, grape agate, chalcedony, iolite, Sherite, Oralite 23, Super 7, Tanzanite, Purpleite, and a few others. And I'll list them down in the description. Because I got some with me right now. I like wonderful colors to wear. Purple, indigo, and violet. Wonderful foods to eat and herbs. Eggplants, blueberries, kidney beans, plums, purple potatoes, red grapes, red cabbage, poppy, and rosemary. Currants, prunes, walnuts, mushrooms, spring water. Be sure to avoid processed food and fluoride. Because fluoride is a leading cause in the pineal gland calcification. But more majority of people fear that ingesting fluoride will make it calcify again. But that's not true. You don't once once your third eye is open and your pineal gland will be open and it won't calcify again. So once it's open, it remains open. So don't worry about it. I did for a long time, but now you don't. You still may get blockages or have it open way too much. So daily meditation and eating right will help a lot to balance it out as long with wearing a specific third eye crystal. Not this one, but just, just wear it around your neck. 
Okay. And essential oils and incense to use. Sandalwood, which is also a scent women are attracted to on men. I've been told that it subconsciously tricks a woman thinking the man has his third eye open. And if it is open, you don't need to have the scent on you. If you're single, give it a try. It doesn't hurt. And also grapefruit, peppermint, rosemary, halo, chrism are also great for sound healing. Musical note A, 448 hertz for the chakra or 852 hertz for the solfe jo. Elemental sound, bells or chimes, and astrological sign, Sagittarius and Pisces. So now we'll move on to the healing part of this session. So first step, we will start with Shokure. Shokure, Shokure. Shokure, Shokure. Shokure, Shokure. Perfect. Now, so something here. shoulder, down your arm, down your chest, and your side, and now over your right shoulder, down your arm. Gonna spread out. So I have one, two, three, four crystals with me. First up, I'll do Rainbow Fluorite.
amethyst and I would like you to like focus in this general area like feel like just like focus your attention right here I want you to do that for So I'm going to do purple flame, I'm going to target in this area, make sure it gets like a full cleanse, remove any calcification, any blockages, and we'll go up and down to make sure it's free. So what we're going to do, we're just going to imagine this lighting. Next up, one of my favorites, Oralite 23. It has 23 minerals in it. It kind of looks like a snail too. So I'm just going to be tapping it right here. Next up, this little guy, Super 7, very operational. Perfect. Now we can do 
sage spray, extra protection. This one's infused with fluoride. Now we're doing some energy healing on the third eye to make sure it's balanced and cleansed. So I'm gonna imagine it just like spinning this way, going up. Just doing this to help me visualize. I read it this way. We're going to move any blockages, make sure the pathways are clear to upper chakra, to the crown, and up higher, and down to your throat, to heart, and down all the way down to your root, and to the earth, earth star chakra. Oh. And now we're going to seal up all these energies with Shoku Ray. Especially, I'm going to do it right here on your third eye. Shoku Ray, Shoku Ray. 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 you guys so much for joining me on today's session i hope you learned something new and helps you on your healing journey with with your third eye open and learning all of these signs of third eye blockages it also helps us to see people differently like with noticing any physical or emotional issues we'll like kind of understand oh related to your third eye so we can point them out to people but it's possible that they are not open to listen to what you have to say they'll think you're crazy and they'll just walk away so they're not ready to know but knowing these information and passing it along can help so many people one woman in my class uh, she was a student in there uh, had poor eyesight she wore glasses 
But with her open to seeing more, her vision improved. So she was like not sure what to do with her glasses because she could see better. So it is all possible. Only you can decide if it is. So let me know below in the comments if this helped you in any way or anything you learned today. Feel free to ask questions. And next Friday, I'm going to do another one. Maybe the sacral chakra. I'm kind of like bouncing around, but I might go back in order because a few people have requested this. One of my subscribers and one of my good friends, uh, Healing Your Bad Mood, ASMR channel. Um, she wanted this information too, so to give her a little shout, shout out and hope she's doing well. And hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. And I'll see you guys really soon. Take